Hey, what's going on everybody? Austin here and we are going to do a blind bag review of the items that are in my personal blind bag. So stay tuned and I'll show you what I got in this bag. Okay, so the blind bag that I have is actually one that I got off of an app called Camo Fire. If you've never heard of it, it's an app that has discounted hunting gear and they change it every day at like 11 p.m. And sometimes they have big game stuff. They've got waterfowl stuff. They got boots, uh, OnX discounts for like the OnX app. It's a pretty cool app and everything's usually discounted at a pretty good rate. And I got this blind bag, which is a Benelli uh, heavy metal bag. Um, I think I picked this up for like 25 bucks when it was on sale on the Camo Fire app. So be sure to check that out. They're not a sponsor or an affiliation with the business. That's just a discounted outlet that I use for some of my hunting stuff. Um, we're going to go into the main compartment and we'll see what is in this bag. Okay, so I'm opening it up here and uh, I like this bag a lot. It can hold quite a bit of gear. Um, the first most important thing is my license. So what I do is I keep my license on my person all the time in my own personal wallet. And when I'm hunting, I usually slip it in here so I don't lose it and it zips up real nice. And that way it's uh, waterproof and won't get wet or get snowed on or anything like that. So that's a nice little feature of this bag. Um, it does zip up right here. Obviously I got some stuff in here so I'm not gonna zip it up all the way. And it's got a little flap here to make sure all your stuff is covered. Okay, so I'm gonna open this up. What do I have in here? Well, obviously I have my uh, lanyard of calls here that are kind of all twisted up, but there you go. My lanyard of calls, my duck and goose calls. Um, I have my trailer key attached. I have three sets of trailer keys for my goose trailer. This one's on a retractable uh, little key lanyard thing. Um, one thing that I'm missing on here because I was just in uh, Michigan traveling on a plane is my finisher. I do also carry a finisher on a retractable lanyard too, but that's in my checked bag still and I just haven't gotten it out yet. Um, I do keep some spare calls here in the side pocket. And this has my remotes for uh, all my Lucky Ducks or Mojos or uh, uh, the, the Goose Flappers, you know, whatever. So spare calls. Um... Gunsling. Uh, a lot of people ask, well, why is it not on your gun? I tend to have issues with hunting out of layout blinds with a gunsling. I don't like it when they get wrapped around the stock or you can get tangled up in it. So if I'm hunting public land where I have to walk everything in or carry everything, I have this in my bag just in case I want something to you know, sling over my shoulder with my gun or something. So I keep it in my blind bag. I don't always use it. Uh, we were hunting layout blinds in Michigan, and I was getting tangled up in it again, so I, I took it off, and then obviously I was uh, in pretty good shape. So my gunsling is in here. Now, a lot of people are going to make fun of me for this, but I quite frankly don't care. Uh, I've got gloves. Uh, waterproof gloves. Decoy setting gloves. Two sets of, guess what, gloves. Uh, and I also have a hand warmer. So I got a hand warmer also. So I have quite a few sets of gloves and hand warmers. Uh, I also have a beanie, which is obviously pretty dirty, but I got a CCGC beanie for when it's pretty cold out, especially in January, February time. Headlamp, probably the single most important thing uh, when you are setting up uh, in the mornings, a headlamp. I got a really nice headlamp. I got this one off of Amazon. It was like 20 bucks or something like that. I've, I'm pretty sure everybody has some sort of a headlamp, but this is my headlamp. It's also rechargeable, which is nice. And then shells. I got two boxes of shells in here right now. Um, I, have, I usually carry a variety. Um, I'm not super brand specific, but what I do like to shoot at ducks usually is anywhere between like, I think it's Franchi or Fiocchi, they make a six shot um, that I really, really like shooting ducks at. It's like a six shot. It's, it is a steel shot, six shot size um, or four shot at ducks. Uh, with geese, I'll shoot anywhere between twos, 
maybe, maybe BBs, but I like shooting two shot at BBs, or I'm sorry, two shot at goose uh, while I'm goose hunting. So I like, I like that a lot. And uh, this, this is kind of nice. Oh, here's a shotgun shell. Um, it's got little dividers in it and I can take them out. They are removable. They're just Velcro. So that is the main compartment of this bag. Um, I'll switch over to here on the side real quick. Uh, gun oil, very important, especially out in the field. Uh, I have a lighter. Uh, why do I have a lighter, you ask? Uh, because we usually run propane heaters when we run out of A-frames or any kind of uh, uh, stand-up blind or hand-built blind or whatever. Um, we use propane heaters, especially in Colorado, quite a bit. So we'll always have a lighter on you. Uh, this other side pocket here, I've got uh, a game tote. These are nice, especially on duck season. Got a nice little game tote there. What do I have else? Uh, hand warmers, uh, still in the packaging. Hand warmers. I also have zip ties. You never know what you need them for. If you're uh, using them to zip tie brush to something or maybe a decoy fell apart or something like that, you need a zip tie, there you go. Uh, a couple loose shotgun shells is what I also have in here. Look at that, I'm almost to a full box already. Okay, so this bag has a back pocket and I just opened it up. Hand warmers again. You can never have enough hand warmers. Um, I have a clip-on style bead for your gun. You never know. I actually ran into this problem in Michigan. Um, somehow, some way, granted I had two guns in one case, which probably put a little bit too much pressure down when I closed the lid. But the bead on my gun actually snapped off flush right at the end of the barrel. So, lesson learned. Always carry an extra bead on you. And it's just one of those clip-on by like high vis or something. Here's actually the extra beads that go inside the little clip-on piece. I have a mask. Just a little neck gaiter mask there. Face paint. You never know because your uh, face does shine. And I got quite a few tools in here. I got a like a Leatherman. Um, I picked this up at Walmart, five bucks or something like that. It's a multi-tool. Can't really complain about that. That's actually busted me out quite a few times of being in a sticky situation. I actually carry two of them because you never know if you're gonna lose one. Um, I got more shotgun shells in here. Man, I need to clean this up. Shotgun shell, shotgun shell, shotgun shell. And I have a band of shotgun shells in here as well. So more shotgun shells, loose shotgun shells, you never know. Uh, I carry a flathead screwdriver. You never know when uh, you'll need something on your gun or anything like that. <laughs> Another multi-tool. This one was uh, from Winchester, the SXP. Uh, this was a, an apology. I don't know if you guys knew, but Winchester had some issues with their SXP where if you were to throw the action... You know, like if you're changing shells or something uh, with the safety on that they would go off. So always point your gun in the safe direction. But after they fixed it, they sent this in. So I threw it in my blind bag. Um, I've got one half of the canisters for the 156 greater hoodies we carry. I don't know where the other one is, but there's that. I have a uh, long range uh, Charleston choke. I run uh, Carlson chokes in my Stoger. And right now I have the mid-range in it, and then this is the other half, the long range. Um, oh, what do you know? Another multi-tool. I think this one was from Cabela's. Yep, Cabela's brand. I think this was like six bucks, something like that. You never know when you need them or if a buddy needs one or something. So I keep a handful on there. <laughs> Here's one without a case. Another multi-tool. Maybe I need to <laughs> clean this thing out more often. Uh, and then I got a couple uh, loosely just thrown in here batteries. I've got uh, some double AA, A, triple A batteries in here. Um, you never know when you need uh, when you need batteries for a headlamp or a mojo or something like that. And then I carry an extra pin also for blinds, like layout blinds or something like that. You never know if you lose one. Um, I just carry an extra one in there. So there you go, guys. This is my blind bag. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. Um, yeah, pretty simple. It's got a little drink little drink carrier right here for Mountain Dew or something like that. But uh, thanks, guys, for tuning in to the video. This is my blind bag, and uh, talk to you guys soon. Thanks.